People lie, but statistics don't. And if I told you that Leo Messi had a better season than Kareem Benzema and Mo Salah, you would tell me that I'm crazy and that I know nothing about football. Well, guess what? That's not totally true. You want to know why I'm saying that? Let's check it out. Here is the stat that shows that Messi had a better season than Benzema and Salah. Statistics have become a very important part of football today. Everything is a statistic nowadays. According to the statistics website, whoscored.com, Leo Messi is the third best player of the season among the top five leagues. This includes the Ligue 1, La Liga, the Premier League, Serie A, and Bundesliga. This ranking is based on average scores of the players during the whole season. These scores take into account different statistics such as goals, assists, the percentage of successful passes, man of the match awards, in comparison to the amount of matches played. A very important component to consider in this ranking. With a score of 7.67 out of 10, the Argentine placed just behind Robert Lewandowski and Kylian Mbappe, with the Polish native reaching a score of 7.93 and the Parisian 7.91. It seems normal that these two attackers should be above him, but La Pulga is ranked above Benzema and Salah, who are fourth and fifth place. Crazy, right? It sounds weird saying it. Come last summer, still free of any contract, to the great surprise of Paris Saint-Germain, Messi does not have the season he was expecting within the Capitals club. Just four goals for him in Ligue 1, but 13 assists in 23 matches at the time of this video. So yes, one could argue that it's far from being terrible, but it's also far from La Pulga's normal standards. It's nowhere near the Messi of Barca, that's for sure. All things considered, the Argentine was disappointing, but we shouldn't be too harsh in our judgment. He still had some great performances in the league, specifically during the matches against Saint-Étienne and Clermont, where he had three assists, against Losk, where he delivered a cold-blooded goal, or even against Lenz, where he scored the winning goal with a powerful left-footed strike. That said, he still could have had better stats, if he would have had more chances and his teammates wouldn't have missed some of the easy opportunities he gave them. We immediately think of Angel Di Maria. Anyways, there are also all the times that he hit the upright, especially on free kicks. It goes without saying that he wasn't too bad this season, even if he sometimes struggled in certain situations. But hey, maybe this is what explains his ranking, no? The Parisian is, by the way, ahead of the two others in percentage of successful passes with 86.1%, compared to 83.5% from Benzema and 80.4% from Salah. Still, we can all admit that it is debatable. But it is true that seeing him in front of players like KB9 or Salah is very surprising, because the Madrid native is playing out of his mind this season. He just keeps scoring goal after goal. You want to see his stats? Okay. 42 goals in all competitions, including 25 in La Liga and 13 assists, but above all, incredible performances in the Champions League. This is unbelievable. Is he the favorite for the next Ballon d'Or? For many, the answer is yes. Mo Salah is in top form. He is the Premier League's leader in scoring and assists with 22 goals and 13 assists. Phenomenal, huh? In addition, he has also just been voted Best Player of the Year from the Football Writers Association, PWA. Seriously, these two are just too good this season. That's why you have to take these kind of statistics with a great assault, friends. We are still watching matches, and we can clearly see that the Frenchman and the Egyptian are above Leo Messi this season. These figures are truly paradoxical. I wonder how the calculations were made. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I noticed that Sadio Mane is not in this ranking. Huh. Anyway, this is just my opinion, of course. What do you think about it? What do you think of all these statistics in football nowadays? And at what level would you rank Leo Messi? Will he do better next season? 